live action. Don't forget to join that. Okay. <sighs> so it's been like two days since I filmed that tomato footage, so we're just gonna pretend that it's the same day. Green tomatoes. Green tomatoes. A lot of people have been saying, well, they're just tomatillos. Well, they're not. They're actually just tomatoes. Tomatillos are a different fruit. They come from a different plant. You can tell they're totally different because they have that outer husk. This just has that tomato vine leaf, whatever you call that. These are just unripe tomatoes. They are a lot more tart. They're really hard when you pick them and I can tell now they've softened up. After they have just softened up after a few days. So it's a good thing that I've waited. Um, now here's my reason for this video, okay? And this is a pickled green tomato. So, I did a video on TikTok, like a three-part series, and all y'all loved it on there. And so I just decided why as well do a full YouTube video and show you guys the process. So, I'm gonna pickle these guys. Alright, there we go. They're all cut up and ready to go for our pickle. Now cut these guys as thick or thin as you want. Remember though, that's going to affect how long that pickling process will take. They're pretty much done immediately, but they taste better over time. So if you pickle them, just wait like a couple of days for them to soak up all that flavor. We are going to set these aside. Clean container. Just a moment. What I have here, what I have here is all of the spices that I'm gonna blend together and put into the pickling liquid. So, I've got coriander. This is gonna bring in a nice fruitiness. Then fennel seed, this is nice and sweet. Then we've got a smoky black pepper. Of course, I like it spicy, so we gotta do some red chili flake. And then Urfa Bieber. This is like a fruity, sweet, spicy pepper. I love it, it's delicious. So here's a quick spice tip. I have the coriander, fennel, black pepper, some Urfa Bieber. Don't wanna do any ground spices, only whole spices. The Urfa Bieber is an exception just because it's a chili and I wanna reconstitute it. Not chili flake, that's the seed. We don't wanna do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, stuff them into the oven and just toast them off. You can do this on a pan as well, but it's just so much easier and evener, evener, I think I made up a word. <laughs> you can toast it evenly in the oven. Just set it with a timer. The reason why we wanna toast our whole spices is to bring out the flavor, the aroma of the spices themselves. When you toast it off, it kind of like activates them in a way. So that's what we're doing here before we pickle. Also, don't forget, Spiceology website, go get yours. Garlic cloves. This is what we want, apple cider vinegar, this Bragg's one's the best. It's got that mother in there. Got about three and a half, three cups of the vinegar in here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do one and a half cups of good old H2O. Salt to taste and some sugar to taste. Now, once you've brought this guy up to the simmer, taste it. If it needs more salt, add more salt. If it needs more sugar, add more sugar. If it's too much vinegar, add more water. If it needs more vinegar, add more vinegar. Pickling is basically all to taste for me, in my opinion. Uh, I'll write down my exact ratio down there, but some people like it more acidic than others, you know? Salted to taste. That's where I want it. So like I said, season it to taste all the things I just said. Ratio in the description below. Don't forget to like the video, by the way. So now, some cheese cloth, just like this right here.
Now this stuff is just going to go, this stuff is just gonna go into the fridge. Take you guys out of the fridge now. They get better over time, seriously, okay? So as you can see, the color has changed on quite a bit. I freaking love pickled green tomatoes. They're so good. At the restaurant that I worked at, we would pickle green tomatoes once a year because we would just get a huge batch from the farm. And these would go on our burgers, right? And they were delicious. People look forward to it every year. The only thing that we didn't look forward to was having to slice cases and cases of these damn things. I remember hearing a story of one of our cooks that before my time, he actually sliced a piece of his finger off because he was just down there for hours. He probably got really stoned or something. But anyways, um, these are really delicious. You can hold them in your fridge for months and months on end. I mean, I've found some from like a year past in our restaurant that were still good and delicious. Remember, they get better over time. I would say like after a week is like when they're prime, you know, they're great. So give this a try. They're so good. I'm going to do a fried green tomato video if you guys want to see it. So if you want to see it, comment down below. I want to see the fried green tomato video and I'll make one, okay? I don't know if you guys want to see it, so just let me know. I'm out of here.